you've been using Gentoo or any other source-based Linux distribution, you're probably no stranger to long emerge times. This is of course because Portage, the default package manager for Gentoo, compiles all of the programs from source. Now, there's a few things that you can do to speed up your emerge times, like using the emerge command with the Q flag. And what this will do is it's going to do a quiet emerge, which basically just means that you won't have all of the output from the compiler printing to the screen. You'll basically just get information when something is emerging or installing. Um, you'll also get some basic error information, like if there's an error during the compile phase or during the installation phase. And this does make a little bit of difference. This does speed up your emerge time slightly, especially if you're emerging a bunch of different packages. But what makes a much bigger difference, especially if you have many CPU threads, is setting the number of compiler jobs in your make.conf. So we're gonna take a look at um, mine real quick, if I can spell correctly. And you can see here, I have the variable makeops and then we have J and we have L. So J stands for the number of compiler jobs, and this is basically how many threads you're going to use or how many threads you're going to dedicate to the compiling. L stands for the load, and this basically keeps too many jobs from running at once so that Portage doesn't actually end up crashing your system. And this is especially useful when you're emerging a large package like Chromium or emerging the world set to update your entire system because obviously that's gonna be a pretty big job for Portage to do. And the eight here stands for the number of CPU threads uh, that you have in your system or that you want to dedicate towards Portage. So you can see here I have set eight because of course I have eight CPU threads to um, dedicate in my system. So I'm gonna dedicate all of them uh, to this to emerge whenever I'm going to be running that command. Now, if you've read through the Gentoo wiki, uh, you probably have your makeup set already uh, because it talks about this particular variable. This next one you might not have known about though, so portage niceness. And this variable actually takes advantage of a core utility that is present in all Unix systems called nice. And what nice, basically does is it's used for modifying the priority of specific processes that are running on your system. If you've ever used Windows and adjusted the priority of a task in the task manager, then you're familiar with a very simplistic form of process scheduling. On Linux, of course, we have much more control. So we don't set niceness with arbitrary words like low, medium, and real time. We set it with an integer value ranging from negative 20 to positive 19, uh, highest priority to lowest priority, 40 different levels of priority scheduling that can be set. Now, I currently have my portage niceness set to one. So it's going to be a lower priority than most tasks that are running on my system. Uh, like you can see here, most of them, they have a niceness value of zero. That's pretty much the default for most programs at least. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be one priority lower than, um, than what Portage is running on. So that way, it's going to let more memory, it's going to let more RAM be used by those processes. Uh, now, you can, of course, set the niceness variable higher, um, but if you set it too high, then it might start killing off your other processes, and obviously you don't want it to like close down your GUI, right? You don't want it to kill off DWM or Xorg. Uh, you don't want it to kill off your web browser, so... You can play with this a little bit and basically find the sweet spot for where you want to have it. Um, I wouldn't set it terribly low though. I wouldn't do something crazy like set it to 19 because uh, then obviously Portage is going to have priority over all other tasks, even core utilities that it needs to run, that it needs to work. So be a little bit careful with setting your niceness. Don't, do, don't go too crazy with it. Uh, next, we have the emerge default ops. And this is where we can define our portage jobs and our portage 
uh, load average. Now, this is a little bit different than, um, than the compiler jobs and the compiler load average because this is actually affecting the number of simultaneous emerges that you can have going on. And I can actually demonstrate this for you guys. Um, let's see, let's open this as root so I can actually modify the file. All right, so I commented out the emerge default op, so it's not gonna use this right now. And then let's make this a little bit bigger. If I emerge something like LibreOffice, because I know this is going to pull in a whole bunch of different dependencies, so it's just a good example to use. So you can see that it's basically emerging these um, one by one. But then if I were to not have this commented out, or I need to save it rather. Um, so let's rerun this. All right, so you can see that it's basically emerging one at a time, and then it goes and it does the installation of it. And then you basically already saw what it's gonna do, but I'll just show it again. Um, if I have it where this is not commented out, let's make sure that I have it written this time. you'll see that it's going to emerge multiple packages at the same time. And it's gonna go up to eight, because of course this is what we have the default op set to. We have it set to eight jobs and then an eight load average. So this is of course helpful if you're going to be installing a package like LibreOffice that has a whole bunch of different dependencies or if you're just going to be emerging a bunch of small packages at once. And then we have this features variable. And the one that really matters here, since we're talking about speeding up the emerges like as quickly as they can actually be done on our system, uh, the variable that's gonna matter here is parallel install. And this is just going to assist us with letting multiple packages be emerged at once. Uh, it's going to do this by using finer grain locks when installing the packages, allowing for greater parallelization. So this helps us with installing, like I said, multiple packages at once. Uh, assuming though that they don't have a dependency graph that's going to cause problems by us installing both of those packages at once, you can take off uh, e-build locks to basically ignore this. But again, if that happens, then you might run into some issues where multiple packages can't be emerged at the same time because again, there's conflicts in the dependency graph. So these are some of the settings that you can do to your make.conf that will definitely speed up your emerge times. I hope that you found this video useful. If it was, be sure to share it with people who have both slow emerge times or fast emerge times because they could probably be faster. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Bye now.